Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 11th of October where I take just one of our signals from our stock scanner membership and sell it up with entry stop loss and target level. So in our membership area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades. I'm going to be looking at shorts today as the markets are going down. Uh, so in our members area here for the shorts, click on the image and download the spreadsheets, which looks something like this for today. So I've chosen the daily time frame. Uh, you don't get that many when you are a few days into a correction, uh, but you do get some reasonably good ones. Obviously on the daily time frame, there's a hell of a lot setting up at the moment because we are pulling back. But I just want to have a look at one of these on the daily time frame. As you can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the 60 minute and the weekly tabs as well. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for Think or Swim. It's also available for multi charts, Trade Station, and Ninja Trader. Um, this is NBL on the daily time frame and looking for a potential short here. So the first thing to, to note is the, the highs up here around about the, uh, the 10th of July. Since then, we have been in a bearish move. We've had quite a long pullback against that, uh, but we did have a big bearish day yesterday. And that's what we're interested in right now, this pullback. And that's seen as if there's a, a, a really good trend there. So I, I'm going to look at the first three elements of the stock scanner membership and where we get our signals from. So the first is that we've had a pullback against the main trend, this fourth wave. Now we have found resistance in our red zone. So that represents a 75% probability. If that resistance holds and it moves back down, we're going to get into our target zone down here around about $27. The next, the middle of the two subcharts, we have the 535 oscillator and that really measures the behavior of this wave four pullback and what we're looking for is a pullback on the oscillator here in green between 90 and 140 percent and as you can see we've just done that and we've crowned as well so looking good there the next on the top is the um the stochastic now we've got no false breakouts there but it's still looking pretty good to me we do have a potential for the bearish move there uh, we've crossed over in the overbought zone and we are likely to come back down to the oversold zone there. We're just waiting for the red hour on the indicator, which we should get today. Now, the bottom is part of our day trading add-on suite, but I've adjusted this MTF uh, dot cloud just to show you how you can use it on longer time frames. So I've adjusted the bottom row here to the monthly time frame. As you can see in red, our main trend on the monthly time frame is red. Uh, we just gone back to red yesterday. Uh, then we've got the weekly, the four day, the two day and the daily here. What we've done here, we've pulled back against the main trend on this wave four where the dots turn green and cyan. And now you will see as we come back down, these dots will turn red again as we resume the main trend. So entry for this reasonably simple here. Future still looking reasonably negative this morning as well. So going to be quite aggressive on this but not not overly so the stop loss first above the way for at 32.84 the entry for this below 31 dollars outside the 6.4 moving average low the red moving average part of our Elliott wave indicator suite here uh, so we have that 30.93 entry there and then the targets 27.25 one to two uh, or could even reach $27 in the bottom of my target there. Now you can be a little bit more conservative with an entry around 30.61 if you like below our cloud here but I'm going quite aggressive today. I want to make a move because if the markets do turn up with with earnings next week if I'm down around about the 1% profit I'll just take profit. So that's very very simple the setup for potential short on NBL on the daily time frame. Everything sets up the signals come from our stock scanner membership and we're looking for an entry at 3093 short so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow